Kingdom greetings in the name of our Lord, our Savior, and our soon coming King Jesus the Christ. I am Matimba Power. By Jesus' grace, I'm a Bible teacher and author and a South African recording gospel artist for the past two decades the glory of God and a pastor of Kingdom Worship Center International Church. I am so thankful to you, dear Father God, for this incredible juncture bestowed to break the Lachem, the Word of God, together with you. Special greetings to Pastor Nico and Pastor Sly Seven and the Glen Radio family for the incredible juncture bestowed to serve God by saving the family of men in this part of the world. Our subject is Understanding Thanksgiving. By God's grace, the text in focus has been 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, which goes, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. By Jesus Christ, we wish to closely inspect the word will, which comes from the Greek word thelema. Thelema means determination. Number two, it means purpose. Number three, it means desire. Four, it means choice. Five, it means pleasure. Six, it means decree. Seven, it means inclination. And eight, it simply means will. Let's take two words today. The first word is the word purpose. In all things, give thanks for this is the purpose of God. The word purpose, according to Google search, means the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Three words. One, done. Two, created. Three, exists. In other words, in all things, give thanks for this is the will, the purpose of God. This is the reason for which we were created. This is the reason for which we exist. This is the reason why God made us, so that we can be thankful. I've learned from Dr. Miles Mondo that purpose is in the mind of the creator of a thing before that thing is made. In other words, before you and I were born, God said it clearer that this one, because of his all-knowing ability, his all-present ability, his all-powerful ability, he said it saying that no matter what you will face in your highest moment, in your lowest moment, don't forget to be thankful because it is the reason for which you were created. It is the reason for which you exist. The second word is the word desire. The word desire is defined as a feeling of happy satisfaction and enjoyment. It's amazing to learn that when God receives thanks, he experiences a feeling of happy satisfaction and enjoyment. Look, man, what would you do if you discovered something, someone you respect and love likes? You will keep doing it so that you can stay in favor with that person. Gratitude can make you and I to continue to enjoy grace and favor. No wonder the writer of the book of Psalms 119 verse 2 says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with all their whole heart. The word blessed here is not barach, which means to kneel and praise. It is the word aser, which means happy. So the text will say, happy are they that keep his testimonies. Testimonies comes from the word test. It deals with that which the Lord has done and you and I have been privileged to witness the doing of God in our lives. When we keep the testimonies, when we keep the record and we become a God promoter, we become those that continually attest, those that continually testify of the things that he has done. The scripture says, you will be happy. I love the benefits of happiness. One, happiness protects your heart. Two, happiness strengthens your immune system. Three, happiness helps you, you and I to combat stress. Four, happiness combats diseases and disabilities. Happiness has been proven to be one of the contributors for longevity. God will never ask us to do anything which does not benefit us in return. Are you struggling? Are you stressed? Are things not happening? Are things not coming okay according to the way you wanted them to? Man, take a moment and count your blessing. Choose to be happy. Choose to look at what is working, regardless of the things that are not working. Because he's all-knowing, he's all-powerful, he has all potential. He will make all things work together for your good. And guess what? At the end of the day, you will smile and smile big. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May he give you peace. May his countenance be on you. May he be gracious to you as you continue to be thankful, no matter where you are in life. 
Hope to see you next time. Same place, same time. Shalom and God bless.